the format of being robot. As a kid, I always loved the show on Nickelodeon called SpongeBob SquarePants. Though I did always think some episodes were very weird, such as the one where SpongeBob and Patrick raised a clam. Was it Rockabye by Valve? Anyway, I loved the series so much that I even bought the video games to go with the show. I bought stuff like Battle for Bikini Bottom and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game, but I recently discovered a new game. While surfing on YouTube for SpongeBob videos, I came across a Let's Play of a game called SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. I still had my old Game Boy Advance, so I wanted to try this game really bad. I didn't look on eBay, as I am a huge fan of creepypastas and horror stories in general, and hear supposed bad experiences with people who buy games on eBay. Rather, I decided to go ask my friend, Kyle, as he had owned lots of video games. He said that he didn't own it, but likely his older brother who runs a shop with lots of used video games had it, and could send it. I said sure, and Kyle said I would have the game in no more than 10 days. The game came 9 days after I asked for it, and Kyle drove it over to me. It looked like it was in really good condition, save for some scratches and a letter on Spongebob, F, written in permanent marker. I noticed that the game came with a small piece of paper with letters and numbers on it. I thought it was a password, but I wanted to play the game so I did. I started it up, and everything looked fine, great even. I came to the title screen, and I didn't want to start a new game, but try out the old file that the previous owner had. Of course, it was a password function, and I was in a rut. I then thought about the paper. I was right. It was a password. I inserted them into the password screen. Boy, that was a huge mistake I would regret. The game booted up, and I was in some light blue area, on top of a bubble cloud. I watched the Let's Play again to find that this was the Gula Goo level of the game. Everything looked perfectly normal, and I was ready to play this new game. I noticed that there were no other platforms or bubble clouds around, so I had no choice but to jump off the platform. I landed in the lagoon, just like the Let's Play showed, but I drowned after my head was in the water. I heard a faint cry come from my Game Boy, and could have sworn I heard laughter mixed in with it. It was a bit, of course, but felt strangely realistic. A death screen came up saying, Strike 1, and I was taken to a new area. It was under the ocean, and had brown and spikes everywhere, looking like a cave. I saw that a treasure chest was to my left, so I went up to it and it said. Spikes are the only way out. The chest was right. The cave was full of spikes. I jumped on one, and died, now with the laugh louder, almost as if it was echoing in the cave. It was deep, almost demonic laughter. The screen cut to black, and I was presented with Strike 2. Was this baseball or a video game, I thought. I was now in Spongebob's neighborhood, only the water was a dark gray, similar to smoke. I went to Squidward's house to find that he wasn't there, but Patrick was at his house. He had on a barrel, just like the normal game showed, except he wasn't sad about his missing clothes. No, he was smiling. A text box in a red bold font came up, with Patrick talking. He asked. Hey Spongebob, wanna go to the carnival? It seemed innocent. A yes or no option came up, and I chose yes. Yet another regretful mistake. I was now at the carnival level, on top of a hook, standing next to Patrick. His grin was now wider, and he had red eyes. It was much like the scene from the episode Hooky, only it was so much worse. The hook shot up, and a loud 8-bit scream erupted from the speakers. Patrick jumped off, but Spongebob stayed, and was torn to shreds as he hit the top of the screen, and blood flew everywhere. The screen cut to black one last time, saying, you're out. After cutting to black again, the screen came back. I was at Goo Lagoon again, only Spongebob was gray, and the sand was an eerie black. I went up to Larry the Lobster, who had just said three dots in a white font. I kept going until I hit the dock. I realized I either jumped off or stayed in this level. Patrick, in the barrel and with that horrid grin, came up. He said again in a red font. What? You don't want to be with me? I'm... 
I'm... your best friend. After this, a loud snap was heard, and Patrick now held a knife. Come to hell with me, he said. Patrick then ran towards Spongebob incredibly fast, and Spongebob ran into the lagoon. The screen popped up now with Spongebob in the cave area, only it was red now and looked like hell. Spongebob was dead. And after looking at a dead Spongebob for 10 seconds, Patrick appeared, along with that loud laughter. The game shut itself off, and I was done. I wanted to get rid of it. I went to Kyle's, and I threw the game at him before stepping on it and crushing it. I yelled at him and left, still horrified by my experience. Remember sometimes, you can't even trust your own best friend, 